Hey guys, it is Vivius and welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be the fourth episode of my Road to Completion Escape series. And um, this is going to be the finale for the Road to Completion Escape series. So this is going to be the last episode of the Road to Completion Escape series. And I really do hope you enjoy this um, video. You know, I hope you've enjoyed the Road to Completion Escape series. Um, if you did, let me know with a like and comments and all that good stuff. But let's kick it off um, because I don't have much time to speak. Although it's like a 12 minute video, I'm going to have to rush through a, couple, a lot of things because, you know, I have done a lot of stuff um, since the last video. Um, so kicking things off with the Mauritania task. I managed to complete obviously the skull ball uh, mini game as well as this like this the stick mini game where you, he, the dude throws a stick and you like have to run around and return it to him. Um, and then I have to wear the barrow set at barrows. The, no, the bandos. I don't even know what I just said. The barrows set at barrows. So I just wore DH or something like that. Um, and then you have to do like the ale brewing or something like this. It took me ages to get this requirement complete because I didn't actually know how to do it. Um, I thought you had to brew all of this stuff, so I was waiting for days and days and days, and if, you know, I finally figured out all you have to do is speak to a couple of people, um, and then add uh, add something to the pot, and you manage to complete the task. And obviously, when you complete all the task, I just ran around, ran around, ran around, and picked up all the legs and stuff of the Mauritania. Um, tasks, you know, as, as a reward, and I got quite a bit of XP as well as the Mauritania tasks, as well as the Mauritania legs, I'm not actually sure what they do, um, as a reward, but, you know, I guess, I guess we'll see, um, and just, just, I may as well say this now, um, later on in the video, um, it's going to be like live reactions and stuff regarding, uh, when I get the refocus scrolls, I hope you guys do enjoy that bit, um, uh, but moving on with the video, um, you know, when I was getting completion escape, the tasks um, weren't too much of a big deal. If you guys are worrying about the tasks, um, you really shouldn't worry about them that much. Uh, the most difficult tasks for me would have been the desert tasks, being the uh, pages, like the you know the um, the p the pages in the Dominion Journal, as well as the um, well. Temple trekking really wasn't that bad. It took me like a day. You, you could do it in a day easily. Um, but obviously, livid farm isn't a, isn't a requirement, but it is something to do for completion escape. And I managed to get 200,000 produce points over the course of the double livid points weekend, which was fantastic. Um, I did it all in a day, or I did it all on stream in one sitting, I think, which is only... It was 200,000 produce on that weekend was equivalent to 100,000 produce, obviously with the double with the double livid points. But, uh, you know, that went by really, really nicely, and it was it was bearable. Livid farm really wasn't too bad for me. I quite enjoyed it, did get a lot of experience, so I do recommend doing that before you get uh, maxed. Now moving on with some of the desert tasks as well. Uh, killing Sunfree took me about 5, anywhere between 5 and 10 goes. If you if you die, you don't lose anything, so you can just respawn and you can go back in and kill her. It's just basically avoiding the fires, that's that's all you have to do for the uh, Sunfree. For the Sunfree Brosh, it's pretty easy. Um, but then I managed to get the Dominion Bombs as well, so that's what Perry... I don't know if you're watching that on the screen, but um, I, I managed to get all the Dominion Bombs. And you do, all you have to do is get those from, I think it's Climber Motor Endurance or something like that. And then you just use all of them. And then you unlock the ability to get the Dominion Marker, which is the uh, which is essentially the task. So that's what you're going to be um, doing the Dominion stuff for, um, for the Dominion Marker. And once you've got the Dominion Marker 4, all you have to do is go outside and plant it in the desert. And I do recommend um, upgrading your Dominion your Dominion Medallion when you actually do Dominion Tower. Because it does, it's like a free overload, so you don't actually have to overload um as long as you're wearing your Dominion Medallion, so it gives you essentially a buff. And then came Thalassus. Thalassus was quite simple as well. Um, as you progress through, you know, from 1 to 10 captures of Thalassus at the very, very end, it does get, um, it's meant to get harder, but it, I found it actually got easier. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, it's it's all random, so you, you basically have to do Thalassus 10 times, and don't worry about, you know, as you progress, don't worry about it getting harder, because it's all the same. Uh, the only difference is between the first one and the 10th one, is that uh, you have less, you have more chance of failing, because you have, um, you have a lowered amount of failures. Um, so, let's say, you, you only get two chances when you're on, when you're on the 10th, when you're on the 10th attempt, but on, when you're on the first one, you get a lot more than two chances, so um, it is pretty easy. And then this, um, you know, since the last video, I managed to get from 117 Dungeoneering to 120 Dungeoneering, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, 120 Dungeoneering is probably one of the biggest achievements for the Completionist Cape. Obviously, um, that's not... Rig that's... Um, that's not including the Max Cape, because the Max Cape would probably be the biggest one for the Completionist Cape. But Dungeoneering would be up there with the uh, with the requirement that takes one of the longest times to achieve. So that was a massive, massive achievement. And um, I also spent... Um, now, when you get 120 Dungeoneering, you end up with a lot of tokens. So I decided to spend 3.75 million Dungeoneering tokens on Dungeoneering. And... 
The reason I've done that is because um, around 4 million Dungeoneering experience takes, or you probably take you a day to get, so that saved me, I guess, a day for, to get, um, you know, it saved me a day getting the Dungeoneering cape, but I guess in the end, after getting the Refocus Scrolls, it really didn't matter. I probably could have just done the, um, probably could have just trained it and it wouldn't have made any difference, or probably would have saved a lot of Dungeoneering tokens, but, um, you know, it's about 30, 37.5 million Dungeoneering experience um, spent on tokens, so that was, you know, I don't really mind about that. I can get those back if I wanted to. Um, so then the Tusker Marks as well. Now, with the Tusker Mask as well, I, um, on the first kill, my first Eric kill, I got a Tusker Mask piece, and then for the rest of the Tusker Mask pieces, I was very, very unlucky. I did make a lot of money off the Eretz though, you know, if you're going to be doing the Tusker Mask, um, if you're going to be doing the Tusker Mask requirement, that's a very, very difficult thing to pronounce. I recommend banking all of the Eret bones because you do make a lot of money. And also, it doesn't matter if you get duplicates of your pieces because you can just trade them with other players around RuneScape and you can just get the five pieces. Which I thought is, an, you know, it's fa it's fantastic that you can actually do that. Um, it, does, it did save me a lot of time. Otherwise, I would have had to camp Eretz for a much longer period of time trying to get those um, non-dupes of the task of the um, Tusker Mask pieces. Uh, but obviously, uh, Bones to Peaches was another thing. What's another requirement for the completionist cape? So making sure you get um, those all of those points, the Pizzazz Gypsy McGee points from uh, the mage. I think it's called the Magic Training Arena. Um, it was it wasn't really a pain. You could probably do it in a day or so. It was really really simple. The Alchemist one's probably the easiest. And then we moved on to 120 Dungeoneering. I think on the screen now. I believe it's 120. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, like I said, before 120 Dungeoneering, I'm going to be going, I think I'm going to be going for 200 mil Dungeoneering. If I'm going to get a 200 mil in a skill, it's going to be Dungeoneering because it's probably my favorite skill. I still do need to learn, though, um, you know, some more things about Dungeoneering because I'm not the best at Dungeoneering. Um, I do want to be, I do want to be really, really good at Dungeoneering. It's one of the things that I've always wanted to do as well as um, just be good at the game in general. And uh, hint, hint, I'm going to be starting a new series regarding me getting better at the game. Let's just let's just say that. I'm going to be starting a new series very, very shortly, which is going to be entertaining. It's going to be much like the progress videos like I've done in the past, um, but it's going to be different. I'll explain all that in a, in a, in a future video. Uh, but like I've, you know, obviously with me getting the completionist cape um, in this episode, I managed to get all the tasks complete as well as, you know, so that obviously includes the polishing of those bones you get from the old, for the old man, so you have to run around RuneScape and collect some bones, and then you just have to polish them for old mate, and it was pretty simple, all you have to do is run around and get a few kills and stuff and bring it back to him, a little bit annoying, um, it's just one of those annoyances during the completionist cape which you had to put up with, but when you, once you've done that, you have to fight this boss looking thing, you just have to pick up bones on the floor or something like that, um, on the whole, it's pretty, pretty easy, so if you're going to be going for the completionist cape, don't stress about that because it's really simple. And also, another task for the completionist cape was all of the song requirements, no, all of the songs unlocked. So doing that Virago took a little while to get a team together for that, but we did manage to get five or six people because they wanted to get the song unlocked as well. But it was entertaining going down there and getting absolutely destroyed by Virago. I believe I made it out alive, so I was one of the, uh, I think, I'm not sure if someone got absolutely railed, but someone definitely died when we were doing that Virago, which was hilarious. Um, and then when you've completed all the tasks, you get the Taskmaster remote, which is absolutely fantastic. The Taskmaster remote is pretty sweet, um, but obviously doesn't compare to the completionist, Kate, um, obviously doesn't compare to the completionist, um, Emote. But now I'm going to be moving on to the refocus scrolls and my reactions to me failing the refocus scrolls. So hopefully you do enjoy this bit. Okay, so I've just woken up and it's time to find out if I've if my forgotten scroll mission has succeeded. And here we go. This is going to be the last requirement for completion this cape. If this succeeds and it fails, see that's another. F <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. Forgotten Scrolls. I think this is like number five or six. And... Failure. Fuck it. This is attempt number five. Here at Player Imports again. I'm getting so sick of failing these Reef Walker Scroll missions. I'm starting just to record them now. Oh, here we go. Here we go, McGee. Yes! It's done! Completionist Cape is done! Oh, if mum was here, she'd be so proud. Okay. So, it all started. Got the fletching cape. Untrimmed. I then got the strength cape. Attack. Cooking. HP. Defense. Woodcut. Magic. Range. Prayer. Herb lore. Fire making. 
runecrafting, crafting, summoning, dungeoneering, farming, construction titties, smithing, thieving, fishing, slayer, hunter, mining, agility, divination, and the quest cake. After all of that trouble, I finally got the max cape, which I don't have enough inventory space for. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, oh my days. That kid got knocked back. No way. <laughs> there it is. Oh! <laughs> Holy sh! Look at it! Look at it! Oh my gosh! Look at it, man! Are you seeing this? The completionist cape took me a little while. The max cape was probably the uh, the longest task. I'm going to quickly customize it uh, before we even do the emote because it's because it's G baby yeah. after all the freaking time trying to get that reef walker scroll I prevailed baby if that's not motivation trend I don't know what is <laughs> Ha 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 ha! I'm just playing. <laughs>